area's local news station. You're watching Cron 4 News at 10. Now at 10, a security guard gunned down while working in Japantown. Now how the community is reacting to the violent death and the two teenagers arrested for his killing. But first, the aftermath of one of the most destructive storms the Bay Area has seen in years, tearing a pier in half, flooding streets and homes, knocking down hundreds of trees, creating dangerous road conditions. Thank you for joining us tonight at 10. I'm Pam Moore. I'm Ken Wayne. We have team coverage tonight. Ground Force Chief Meteorologist Lawrence Carno is tracking the next big wave of this atmospheric river. Ground Force Gail Ong is in San Francisco talking to a business owner who says it will take at least $50,000 to recover from the damage the storm left behind. Well, we start with Ground Force Dan Thorne live in the East Bay where the cleanup efforts continue. He joins us from a neighborhood in Kensington where the power is now finally back on. Dan. Yeah, Ken, good news here along uh, this section of Beverly Road here in Kensington. The power brought back on within the past couple of hours. It was knocked out because of this large tree here landing on some of the power lines out here and also crushing a car, which is behind me here as well. Uh, some of the neighbors here telling us they had been without power since yesterday evening. And now the concern is with more storms on the way that more large tree branches and trees will come crashing down.